Hello, and welcome to the paper review and latest cutting edge segment of Implied Concepts. Here, we will provide a comprehensive overview of the latest research and advancements in the field of AI technology. Stay tuned for insightful and informative updates. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and make sure to watch the entire video to ensure a complete understanding. Today, we are going to review the paper from IBM. IBM Machine Learning Operations. Overview, Definition, and Architecture. This paper provides a comprehensive architecture of ML Ops and has set a benchmark in the ML Ops community. ML Ops refers to the collaboration between data scientists and IT teams to manage the complete life cycle of machine learning models, from development to deployment and maintenance. The authors defines ML Ops as the practice of combining software engineering and data science to ensure that machine learning models are reliable, scalable, and maintainable. The authors breaks down ML Ops into three different segments. Nine principles, nine tools or components that map to these principles, and seven roles. It then brings all of these together into an architectural framework and defines the workflow. This detailed analysis has not been done before, and it provides a north star for businesses and leaders to follow. Nine principles of ML Ops are CI CD automation. Workflow orchestration. Reproducibility. Versioning of data, code, and model. Collaboration. Continuous ML training and evaluation. ML metadata tracking. Continuous monitoring. Feedback loops. The components that map to these principles are CICD component maps to principles CICD automation, continuous ML training and evaluation, feedback loops. Source code repository maps to principles versioning of data, code, and model, collaboration. Workflow orchestration component maps to workflow orchestration, reproducibility, continuous ML training and evaluation. Feature store system maps to principles, reproducibility, versioning of data, code, and model. Model training infrastructure maps to continuous ML training and evaluation. Model registry maps to reproducibility, versioning of data, code, and model. ML metadata stores maps to versioning of data, code, and model, ML metadata tracking. Monitoring component maps to continuous monitoring. Model serving component maps to feedback loops. Now the most important. The tools that can be used for these components are, we have added the latest list used in industry. CICD component. Jenkins, GitHub Actions, GitLab CICD. We highly recommend GitLab CICD. Source code repository. Bitbucket, GitLab, GitHub, Giti. We recommend GitLab, GitHub. Workflow orchestration component. Apache Airflow, Kubeflow Pipelines, Luigi. AWS SageMaker Pipelines, Azure Pipelines. Feature Store System. Google Feast, Amazon AWS Feature Store, Tekton.ai, Hopswork.ai. Model Training Infrastructure. Kubernetes, OpenShift. Model Registry. MLflow, AWS SageMaker Model Registry. Microsoft Azure ML Model Registry, Neptune.ai. ML Metadata Stores. Microsoft Azure Storage, Google Cloud Storage, Amazon S3. 
Then comes the roles. Seven roles are identified. Business stakeholder. Defines the business goal to be achieved with ML and takes care of the communication side of the business. Solution architect. Designs the architecture and defines the technologies to be used. Data scientist. Translates the business problem into an ML problem and takes care of the model engineering. Data engineer. Builds up and manages data and feature engineering pipelines, and ensures proper data ingestion to the databases of the feature store system. Software engineer. Applies software design patterns, widely accepted coding guidelines, and best practices to turn the raw ML problem into a well-engineered product. DevOps engineer. Bridges the gap between development and operations and ensures proper CI-CD automation, ML workflow orchestration, model deployment to production, and monitoring. ML engineer. ML ops engineer. Combines aspects of several roles and has cross-domain knowledge. This role builds up and operates the ML infrastructure, manages the automated ML workflow pipelines and model deployment to production, and monitors both the model and the ML infrastructure. And finally the paper concludes with the challenges to realize the above architecture and workflow. The open challenges in adopting ML ops can be categorized into three main categories. Organizational challenges. The mindset and culture of data science practice needs to change to be more product-oriented rather than model-driven. There is a lack of highly skilled experts for various roles in ML ops such as architects, data engineers, ML engineers, and DevOps engineers. ML ops is typically not part of data science education. Teams often work in silos and have different knowledge levels and specialized terminologies, making communication difficult. A multidisciplinary team is required to achieve the goals of ML ops and it needs to be a group process. ML system challenges Designing for fluctuating demand, especially in relation to the process of ML training, is a major challenge due to potentially voluminous and varying data. Precisely estimating the necessary infrastructure resources is difficult due to the voluminous and varying data. Operational challenges it is challenging to operate ML manually due to different stacks of software and hardware components and their interplay. Robust automation is required for repetitive tasks such as retraining capabilities. A large number of artifacts require a strong governance and versioning of data, model, and code to ensure robustness and reproducibility. Resolving a potential support request is challenging as many parties and components are involved. Failures can be a combination of ML infrastructure and software. This concludes our review of Awesome Paper. Subscribe to Lookout for latest research in AIML. Thank you for watching.